Welcome to the world of Beyblade, Bay fans. How's it going? So, we have another Beyblade Burst Quad Drive video for you guys. We have Vanish Fafnir F7. And the parts are GO2, QDO3, TB13 Q, and slash SO2. So they still put all these letters and numbers on the parts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I understand why they don't call them what they're actually called. But hey, you know, it's Hasbro for you. So I've heard a lot of bad things about this Beyblade. So we're going to check it over once we get it out. The box is looking awesome though. I do have to give Hasbro that for their box. This also comes with a ripcord launcher. So that's pretty cool if you ain't got a launcher. It comes with a ripcord launcher. At the back, obviously, we have our um, Fafnir core. We have our Fanish blade, our armor, our disc, uh, performance tip, and the armor for the performance tip to make it into a um, plus mode. So obviously, then it spins left. It's a left spinning bay, and it's a stamina type. Now, if you don't know what is stamina and stuff like that, if you don't know what the pictures mean or if it don't say stamina type, then just look out for the colours. The stamina will be a orange. So we have the core plus, which is um, with the armor on. Then we have the apex plus. So the apex will be the high mode. The core will be the low mode. So TT high and low. And then we have um, the core and apex non pluses. So these... So with the armor off, it makes it a balanced type Beyblade. Attack is six, the weight is seven, the burst resistance is zero, and the agility is three, the defense is nine, and the stamina is 12. I don't know if you can see that there, the stamina is 12. All right, guys, so it literally just comes out of the box like this because they're reducing plastic. Now, since the Beyblades are actually made out of plastic, they are um, rethinking on the plastic packaging that they normally do. So we have the launcher, we have the ripcord. So this launcher is obviously just a standard launcher, the same as all the other Hasbro standard launchers. The only difference is it's the color and it says quad drive and I think the shape is sort of different as well. I'll have to get all of the other standard ones out and take a picture and put my, my Instagram for you guys to have a look. So uh, yeah, that's the launcher and the record. Let's have a look at the blade then, shall we guys? There we go. So I thought I'd get my TT Fanish to compare it. So that way you guys get a little comparison as well. Um, so we have the performance tip with the kick driver and then which makes it a stamina when it comes off It makes it a balance. I'm not sure what that one is though. Is that unite? Maybe that could be unite um, So that is pretty cool. They've got the shape okay and stuff like that But I think they've got it a bit wider. Yeah, they've got it a bit wider um, And they took the gimmick off it anyway. They took the spring off it um, Where TT you can do this and they've obviously put it in blue when the original color is supposed to be orange. So they took the color off as well. For some reason, I have no idea why they did that. Um, but that's the kick driver. Then we have tapered. Now this feels a lot lighter. So it looks like they've uh, taken a lot of weight out of that. If you can see, yeah, if you can see um, they've literally taken a lot of weight out of that um, where you could tell that this has got a lot more weight in. You can tell how the holes are um, and stuff like that. And you can tell that they've literally just stripped half of it off. Um, I don't know why, but that's what they've done. So they've made it lighter by doing that. Then we have our finished blade and core. So let's have a look here. So obviously the, um, the core chip is a lot more shinier than what it is with um, TT and that's because they don't really put much paint on it so it's just pure plastic um, where you can see the whole dragon here you can barely see the dragon because they've not really painted it um, at all it looks like <laughs> is they just done it without the mold and like there you go um, no rubber 
So like everyone says it's true, it's got no rubber on where this has got rubber um, and this has got no rubber. So I am wondering how will it spin steel? Will it spin steel great steel or without the rubber? I don't think it's going to spin steel. And again, the armor is plastic, just like Rock to Four. Um, I don't know why they brought out plastic armors, um, but, you know, they, they did. Um, bring out plastic armor so yeah you know that's that um the paint the green here as you can see there it's more metallic -y type green uh on this one it's more just a dull matte paint green there it's like really looks like they've not um really bothered with vanish fafnir to be honest with you uh, maybe they are doing some dv pro series so maybe they're are trying to do this for us to cycle us out and then when they bring out the pro series they're like bam we told you we're gonna make this good bro you know maybe maybe we don't know but yeah that's that it looks terrible to be honest with you and i am a fan of hash bro because the hash bros are easier to get than tt normally um uh, that's why i'm a fan of hash bro and that way you can do more than what you can with tt because it don't matter if they break and to be fair with you you don't really want to wreck your tt so if i want to do like trick shots or experiments and stuff like that i do them with my hash bro beyblades but other than that i do like hash bro but i am more of a fan of tt tt mm -hmm. more of a fan um so yeah let's put this together So we got it together. Um, it's literally a little bit higher than the TT one. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because they've made this a bit more wider and taller because they took out the spring gimmick. So that's probably why it's a little bit taller. So they've made it a little bit taller um, and lighter. I don't know why and no rubber. It's like with uh, Mirage Fafnir, right? So with Mirage Fafnir, they've literally done a, a good detailing on the chip. Uh, rubber on the actual uh, blade it's more of like a hard rubber um, but the only thing is they took off um, Mirage is they took off the gimmick for the performance tip for the nothing driver but on Shadow Doom Sizer they've actually got the gimmick on the nothing driver so why did they put rubber on Mirage Fafnir take rubber off Fanish Fafnir why did they put the gimmick on Nothing Driver on Shadow Doomsizer? Take the gimmick off the Nothing Driver on Mirage Fafnir. Why did they take the gimmick off Kick? Recolor Kick took the weight off the disc. It's crazy, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do, guys. Yes, you do. Hit that like button and subscribe to keep it spinning. And we'll see you in another video.